Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to toggle the theme from light to dark and from dark to light as well as how to persist the theme in Flutter using Riverpod. Let me show you the example. Uh, this is the UI and here we have a button. If I click here, then you can see that the theme has been changed to dark mode and if I click it again, then the theme is changed to light mode. How to achieve this, that portion I will discuss today. Here I have created this project and after that in pubspec.yml file I have taken the dependencies as flutter river pod, river pod annotation, get storage to store the theme in the local mobile device and in the dev dependencies I have taken river pod generator and build runner. Now inside the project here I have created this images folder and inside the image folder I have taken an image named as logo.png and the entry of this image I have made in the pubspec.yml. If I scroll it down, then you can see in assets, I have used images slash logo.png. Now, inside the leaf folder, I have created a file named as theme.dart. Here, I have created the color combination for light theme and for dark theme. As you can see, for the light theme, I have set the scaffold background color, app bar theme, in the text theme, I have created title large, title medium. Similarly, for dark theme also, I have created this combination, scaffold background color, app bar theme, and text theme. If you want to put more theme combinations, then we can put this inside this particular file. Now, let me move to main.dart. In main.dart, the root app, that is my app, is wrapped with provider scope. And inside the build method, you can see in the material app, in the theme, I have set it as a light theme. Then I have used the copy with method and I have set the use material 3 as true. Similarly, for dark theme also, I have used dark theme dot copy with use material 3 true. And in the home, I have used the widget my home page. This my home page is extending the consumer widget, which is returning a scaffold. And in the body, in the center, I have taken the padding widget as the child. And as a child of the padding widget, I have taken the column widget. And as a first children of the column widget, I have taken an image. After that, there is a sized box. Then there is a text that is ripples code. Then, then there is another text that is the site uh, address https www.ripples.com. And uh, in the style, you can see here, I have used theme dot of context text theme title large. And for this one, I have used text theme dot title medium. And there is icon button and in the icon I have taken Cupertino icons dot brightness and we are getting this particular output. Now inside the leaf folder here I will create a file named as theme helper. Theme helper dot dart. Now inside this file here I will create a class that is theme helper and inside this class I will declare a variable final underscore box equals to get storage and in the main dot dart here I need to do one more thing this one to use the get storage here I have used of it get storage dot in it this we need to call and uh, let me move to theme helper so here i have created this uh, final box and here i will declare one more variable final underscore key equals to and let me give the key name as theme after that here i will create a method theme mode and let me give the return type of this method as theme mode now what this theme mode is if i click here or let me import the package first. Now, if I click here, then you can see in the theme mode is a enum having the value as system, light and dark. The system will have the position value as zero. It will have the value as one and dark will have the value as two. Please remember this. Now, let me move to theme dot uh, helper once again. Now, inside this theme mode here, what I will do is that here, first of all, I will create a variable final theme value equals to box dot read 
and after that here I will give the key so from the get storage box I will read the value against this key for the first time there is no value against the key so the value of theme value will be null so here I will check if theme value equals to equals to if it is null then what it will do it will return theme mode dot system means whatever the theme has been set by the system that will be returned else or instead of else here I can return theme mode dot values and after that here I will pass theme value now what this theme value will contain this theme value will actually contain the index position as 0 1 or 2 so if it is 0 this means system will be returned if it is theme value if it is 1 this means light will be returned and if the value of theme value is 2 this means dark will be returned that is the functionality of this theme mode function now here I will create one more function void update theme mode and what this function will take as a parameter this function will take theme mode as a parameter and let me give the variable name as theme mode what this function will do this function will write the selected theme to the get storage box so here I will use box to write we will use the write method and the key will be key and what will be the value the value will be theme mode dot index as I discussed earlier also that this key will contain the index position of the theme mode as 0 1 2 if it is 0 this means system if it is 1 this means light if it is 2 this means dark that is the functionality of this theme helper class now here I will create a theme helper provider to do that let me create a function theme helper and here I will use river pod generator so I need to use the river pod let me give the name here as theme helper ref and what it will do it will return theme helper now let me move to pubspec.yml let me save this so it will fetch all the dependencies okay it's done now move to theme helper and let me import this at the rate river pod let me import the library this is done and let me give its name as ref okay so and here I need to do one more thing we need to use part theme helper dot g dot dot now let me go to the terminal and in the terminal I need to run the command dart run build underscore runner watch let me press enter it will take some time okay so the code is generated and all the errors are gone from this particular file now after this inside the leaf folder I will create one more file named as theme notifier now inside this file here I will create a class class theme notifier and what it will do it will extend underscore dollar theme notifier after that here I need to use sorry here I need to use at the rate river pod and let me copy this package from here and let me paste it here now here I need to use or we need to override the build method what this build method will return this build method will return theme mode 
let me import the material dot dart now here we will use a return ref dot watch and from this ref dot watch we will read the theme helper provider and from this we can call the method that is theme mode now here we need to use part then theme notifier dot g dot dot okay so the error is gone now and here we need to use override so the build method will read this function from theme helper provider and accordingly it will return the corresponding theme mode now here i will create one more method that is get theme what this method will do it will return the state and the return type of this method will be theme mode and here i will create one more function that is void set theme and here i will check if state if state equals to equals to if it is theme mode dot dark if it is dark theme then state will be theme mode dot light then here in the else i need to check so in the if i have checked if the state is theme mode dot dark then the state will be theme mode dot light else state will be theme mode dot obviously it will be dark right and after that here i will use ref dot watch then theme helper provider then i will call the update theme method which we have created and to this update theme method i will pass the state okay now after doing this what i will do is that let me go to the main dot dart file and in the main dot dart file inside this build method here i will declare a variable final theme mode equals to ref dot watch and here i will watch theme notifier provider and to this material app there is a property that is theme mode to this theme mode i will pass the theme mode which i have created here and after that inside this build method again i will declare the variable or let me copy this from here final theme mode let me paste it here and now whenever this icon button will be pressed at that time i need to change or i need to toggle the theme and to do that here i will call ref dot watch then theme notifier provider dot notifier and with this i can call the method set theme and we need to update the icon accordingly with respect to the dark mode and the light mode so here in icon i will check if theme mode if it is equals to equals to theme mode dot dark if it is dark mode 
then the icon will be this one else let me copy this paste it here sorry let me paste it here and now instead of brightness here we will use moon stars and the color will be black fine now let me run this okay now if i can show you the output then this is the output now if i click here then you can see it is generating some error theme helper has no instance method update theme okay now let me move to the theme helper here we have the method update theme mode let me copy this and if i go to theme notifier then this will be update theme mode now let me run this once again now if i click here then you can see the theme is changed to dark if i click it once again then the theme is changed to light if i click here and if i run it once again then you will see that the application is running and the theme is in dark mode this means the last theme we have which we have selected that is preserved this is how we can toggle the theme and persist the theme in flutter using riverpod thank you so much for watching